today I'm gonna share with you a quick version of Bananas Fosters with frozen yogurt and peanut chocolate bark. I've got here some Greek yogurt. I like to use the Greek yogurt because I like how creamy and sort of rich it is. Some honey, you could use agave. I'm gonna swirl this into my Greek yogurt. I've got some chocolate. This is milk chocolate sitting on a double boil. I'm actually gonna swirl that chocolate into this yogurt. I've got my tray lined with a silicone mat. You could use parchment paper or wax paper if you have that at your kitchen. So you spread it out to like the thickness of, say like a peanut brittle or something. This milk chocolate is melted on the double boil. I just drop little dollops into the yogurt pretty much as fast as I can. This is where you have some fun and just kind of mix it around until it starts to look kind of marbly or swirly. The next thing we're gonna do is add a little bit of sea salt and some peanuts. These peanuts are just coarsely chopped and I always love to put salt in my pastry, so just a little coarse sea salt in my fingers a little bit. So now this is ready to go in the freezer. If you're at home, you're gonna wanna freeze this for at least two hours before you serve it or eat it. We're gonna make that caramel sauce for our bananas, sort of, let's call this Bananas Michael. I don't know who Foster is, so we're gonna call this Bananas Michael. And what I like to use is a toffee caramel sauce. I've got granulated sugar, I've got some butter. I'm gonna melt the butter in the pan. And I'll usually just, just take it until it's pretty melty. Then I add my granulated sugar and my brown sugar, and I cook it all until it pretty much looks like molasses. I like to let the granulated sugar sort of start to caramelize a little bit first in the butter. You wanna do this on like a medium heat. See how it's getting all like kind of melty, starting to take on the color of caramel. This to me is like the best introductory to caramel sauce that you could ever make. So now it's starting to brown. So I'm gonna bring these two together and let this cook until it's all sort of like molasses-y. I just wanna stand here and go like this with it. So as you can see, everything starts to melt and it's not really crystallizing because there's fat in here. And that butter being in there actually helps prevent the sugar from seizing up on you. So I stir this until it's nice and melted. You don't see any more of those lumps. Now I'm gonna turn the heat down because I don't really want any more color on this. And then we're gonna deglaze with a little bit of that rum that I have here. I've got some dark rum here. For safety reasons, I like to just sort of do it from a distance. Now this is really important. When you're adding liquid to hot sugar, don't get too close to it because sometimes that has a tendency to like pop out. You can see it's seized up, right? But now it'll just melt back to where we had it and then we add the cream to it and it all comes together into one homogenous sauce. Turn my heat off and let that hot sugar actually just cook this into an emulsified caramel sauce. I also like to add just a little bit of salt to this. Again, I like to have a little salt in all my pastry. And you can see here, I've got some crystallized sugar here. If that happens, you don't have to start over. You just turn the heat back on, get it nice and hot, and just allow that sugar to melt right into your toffee sauce. I would say within two minutes, this is gonna be a completely melted sauce ready to go. Let's move on to the banana. I wanted to cook a banana in a way where it was tender, but not brown, not oxidized. It was creamy, it was hot. And then I went, huh, the microwave. And we're gonna do it right now. Step one, open the door. Step two, place banana in microwave. Step three, close door. Step four, one minute and 30 seconds, let it cook. So right now we can check on our caramel. You can see our caramel sauce is nice and perfect. Banana's ready to go. And you wanna be careful, there is gonna be steam coming out of this. I just like to put it on my cutting board, take that peel right off. I've got that gorgeous toffee caramel sauce. I like to hit it with a little bit of lime zest. And then this is where I like run to the freezer and go get my bark. Three, two, one. Time's up. Beautiful dessert. Little riff on Bananas Foster. We're now calling Bananas Michael. Should we try it? <sighs> 10 out of 10.